Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel, The Ninth Cup, where all of my readings focus on your soul's destiny and everything you can do to embody your soul's purpose. This reading is going to be for the sign of Taurus. So any Taurus placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, if you have a stellium in the sign of Taurus, or if you have um, really strong placements in the second house, which is the house of Taurus. Okay. And I'm going to be channeling energies for... Um, Scorpio season, as well as the blue moon coming up on October 31st, Halloween here in the United States. And, um, you know, just what we can expect. Currently, Mercury is still retrograde in the sign of Scorpio. It will be there until November 3rd, which is election day here in the United States. So there could be um, some secrets coming to light or just, you know, some delays with, um, with, with communication, mass communication. So TBD on that. We also have Aries. I'm sorry, Mars, that's still retrograde in the sign of Aries. It will be there until mid-November. So um, still a lot of um, dense energies in the cosmos. So I just want to see what is going on for Scorpio season, what we can expect um, for the sign of Taurus. Taurus, beautiful earth sign. I'm a Taurus rising. So we can see what um, is going on for you guys. I'm starting out with three oracles from the Wisdom of Oracle. Not for you. That's the first one that flipped. The number six, six is um, mutual reciprocity, you know, give and take, um, reflecting, you know, reminiscing, six is, that's six energy in tarot, you know, because it's not for you, this could be like maybe a pair, like some kind of partnership, could be romantic or just platonic or like a business partnership, and it, um, spirit may be telling you like, it's just not for you, it's not working out, regardless of what this person is telling you, observer. So it's a 49 that reduces to a four. So sit back and look at, um, you know, really take inventory of this partnership, of this matching, of this pair up and see if it is um, really going to be stable for you, you know, because fours and tarot are about foundation, about kinship, family of origin, that type of energy. This person, I'm just getting intuitively. We don't, we don't know yet because uh, all the cards aren't out yet, but I'm just getting that um, this person could be like singing a good song or, you know, and just not really like walking the walk. You know, they're talking the talk, but they're not walking the walk. Two cards flipped out. One of them is come to the edge. That's a 36, which is a nine. So you're almost at completion for something. And the other thing is truth be told. And as I was saying that, you know, this flip, as I was saying that this person is singing a good song or they're, you know, not talking a talk, but not walking the walk. This is one of the cards that flipped. So, and this reduces to a five, which is a sudden change. You know, fives are like sudden changes that happen, kind of like the rug being pulled out from underneath of you, conflict, competition. Um, so there could be a truth coming out either from this person or maybe you seeking the truth. Maybe that's what come to the edge is all about. You know, come to the edge and get the answers you need because, you know, you're, you're about almost at your wits end here is what I'm getting. You know, with that being, with come to the edge being a nine, it's like you're coming to the end of something. So let's see what the tarot has to say. I'm doing uh, the Golden World Tarot. I'm going to get three cards um, under each uh, under each oracle, and then we'll wrap up with um, three more oracles from another oracle deck. Okay. So let's see what we have for beautiful Taurus. First one is Six of Swords. Yeah, this is moving away, moving away from. It's beautiful that it came out right underneath the not for you card because six of swords is about moving from choppy waters into calmer waters, moving from situations that have been turbulent and, um, you know, cause you to really not be in integrity with yourself and moving into something that is more um, in alignment with you, that resonates with you more. Observer, what do we have? Nine of wands. Yeah, so this is another nine here. Nine of wands, battle weary. This person could be a taker and not a giver. This person could be, you know, very convincing, very compelling. And now it's like they kind of put you through the ringer because, you know, Taurus is a sign that is going to be um, very helpful to others. Um, you're ruled by the planet Venus. So it's like, you know, you're hardworking, but you're also very generous. You want things to be comfortable for yourself and for those around you. Um, you don't really want to see anyone to be in a place of lack or scarcity. It's um, the opposite of Taurian energy, Venusian energy. Nine of wheels, nine of pentacles flipped. So this could be your energy here uh, coming up with come to the edge and truth be told. 
Um, I think maybe once you release this person or release this energy, you can, it, it's, this is where you're going to be, at least the energy of where you're going to be in terms of your own stability, nine of pentacles, it's total, um, you know, independence, you know, being able to thrive on your own, having all the resources you need to thrive on your own, um, not needing to ask anyone for anything that you need. Um, yeah, being in total, um, you know, you're, you're sitting pretty, but it's like on your own, you know, next one, ace of cups flipped out right underneath here, the six of swords and aces, a new beginning cups, energies, uh, Scorpio pan, Pisces cancer. So this could be something romantic. Um, this could be you leaving one relationship to go into another, or this could be you leaving a relationship, some type of partnership to begin um, a journey of self-love, self-care. Um, and yeah, so you can get to this nine of wheels energy, total independence and feeling like, yeah, queen of cups too, feeling like you're emotionally stable, like you are able to respond to people versus react, kind of just being more poised, more confident in who you are. You could have been in um, some energies of codependency, making, so, making yourself feel responsible for others and um, obligated to solve their problems, although they are more than capable of doing it on their own. Yeah, four of swords energy came out right underneath the nine of wands. So battle weary, four of swords is like intentional healing, taking an intentional pause to heal, to reflect, to kind of separate from the things that are kind of clouding your mind towards energy is all about the mental space. Um, I believe it's Libra energy. So, you know, maybe something could have happened during Libra season, um, which is what we just got out of. And, you know, taking inventory, being an observer of your own actions. Spirit wants you to kind of like look at how you have shown up in this relationship or in this pair and how it has not suited you, how it has not been for you. And now it's time to move away from it. We have the Ace of Wands now. Um, right here underneath of this uh, Nine of Wheels, Ace of Wands. So taking action, <clears throat> creative action, being inspired to move on, to start anew. Oh, the other one that flipped is the uh, Nine of Cups. So this is more independent energy, total wish fulfillment as it relates to you, what you want for yourself. I'm um, feeling high vibe, feeling like you really don't need anybody. And then we have, yeah, this is beautiful, Taurus. We have six of wands. This is the last one that flipped out. Card of victory. Okay. So again, I got this for Pisces. Um, yeah, I got this for the Pisces reading, I think. This is a transformational reading. Um, moving out of something into something new. Um, the Scorpio season is a beautiful season to do that since it is um, a, a sign ruled by the planet that, that rules uh, death endings beginnings and transformation scorpio is ruled by pluto traditional ruler is mars mars um, being the um, a very divine masculine fast-paced energy um, of movement planet of movement so you know with that being said i definitely think that this is a great time to do some shadow work um looking at the things that have not been for you, accepting it, accepting that the fact that this is a part of your story, a part of your experience, and now you can hold yourself accountable to um, achieve the things that you really do want to achieve, right? Being an observer. I think sometimes when we observe our own behavior, we are then able to be accountable for it. We can then identify the patterns that have led us into like these cycles that have repeated themselves over and over again with other people, maybe sometimes with the same people, um, but we have just not been able to pattern interrupt, you know, and truth be told could be like you just getting real with yourself, getting honest with yourself and saying, okay, well, you know, I have had horrible boundaries or, you know, I did see red flags and I don't know why I didn't speak up when I saw these red flags or I felt like something was just off and putting yourself through the ringer here with this nine of wands energy, you know, it's like now you're kind of coming to the end of a battle, but this could have also been a battle with yourself, you know, not being able to um, get over past traumas, maybe heal your inner child. Um, and now with this partnership, and it, this is a general reading, so you have to apply the energies as it relates to your situation. You know, now that you're coming out of this partnership, um, I'm getting that you're coming out of it, but it also, for some of you, could be just a total transformation, maybe healing the union between you and someone else, the friendship, the business relationship, whatever it may be, family relationship, um, and coming out anew, coming out victorious with this uh, Six of Wands energy, because it's like you now can step into your power. You've now taken the time to heal. Um, yeah, to the bottom of the deck, we have Ten of Wands. So tens are completion, you know, 
but the tens, ten of wands uh, specifically is like carrying a burden. And I think that, you know, as soon as you can release this burden, um, and I think coming to the edge is just when you're going to do that. It's just when you're going to finally let everything go, let go of maybe feeling obligated to help others um, when, when they're just really using you. You know, like this is not about having a spirit of generosity. This is about people taking advantage of you, um, your spirit of generosity, your kindness, um, your giving spirit. You know, this is, this is a time for you to really put you first. You know, this is, this is the, the vibes I'm getting from this reading, Taurus. Really put you first and, um, you know, really love yourself. Get back to um, the things that you want to do, the things that light you up. And I think great things are in store. Great things are in store. Um, as long as you can do the work, spirit will work with you. Um, because there's definitely been a situation that has not been for you, that has not been of service to you, and has put you out of integrity with yourself. Okay, now let's wrap up with three more oracles from the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck. See what else Spirit has to say. Oh, the Sun card. I think Pisces got this twice. Um, sun card being the happiest card in the deck. Um, this is what's on the horizon for you. You know, I think as long as as long as you're able to again do that that shadow work, accepting and holding yourself accountable. Um, you know, finding the support you need to along the way. The sun is here to, to, um, to greet you. Total wish fulfillment, bliss, the happiest card in the deck. I love the sun card. It's Leo energy. Um, and you're able to really, really, really move forward as a, you know, with a renewed sense of self and sense of hope. Okay, Taurus. Rejoice and celebration. Three of cups. Yeah. So some of you could be, um, for those of you who are, good, are, are in a, a pair and you're just going to transform and repair it and heal it, there will be some celebrations um, in, in store for you. You know, maybe that person, maybe you and this person are kind of like mirroring each other. There could be some um, like matching energies, twin flame soulmate type energies going on. And I think, you know, as as you all can pattern interrupt these cycles again and do a little like introspection work with this full moon, blue moon energy coming up, um, sun and rejoicing is, is in store for you guys. So beautiful. I love it. Oh, love begins. This is like ace of cups. So you have two ace of cups here. So yeah, this could be for some of you who are letting go, finding new love. And this could be also finding love with yourself, going within, really learning to love yourself wholly and fully. Or it could be um, maybe finding another, you know, your divine counterpart, or totally transforming the relationship you're in. If it's a um, long-term relationship that you have been in for quite some time and just, you know, doing the work to make the changes that need to be made in the relationship. Okay, Taurus, this is what I have for you. I hope this resonates. If it does, please like, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. If this is your kind of thing, subscribe to the channel. Also check out the links below. I do personal readings as well as um, soul purpose readings using your natal chart, your astrology birth chart. So we can look at all of your placements and see what's in store for you. I hope to see you guys in the next reading. I love you so much. Be sure to thrive. Bye.